is Dr. Sean, and we're going to go over what not to do with this thing, okay? So there's a few things not to do, some from the book and some not from the book, but I'll, I'll read them to you just be, so you can understand. Number one, and it's funny that I've seen some of the booklets that these come with tell you, number one, don't, don't swallow the battery. Why would you put a battery in your mouth? Um, here's the battery, by the way. So don't, don't swallow this. There's the battery. Don't put it in your mouth. Don't swallow it. You know, don't put it in any places. Don't put it in your body. How about that? Now this one too, this one has different ends here. Don't put these in your mouth. Don't put this up your nose. Don't put it in your butt. Don't put it in other areas like that, okay? Now there's other areas too. Look, Check this out. This does come apart, okay? So there's some small parts on here. So little kids, don't give it to them, okay? Little tiny bolts. Right? Little tiny collar here. Put that on. Let's put this back on. Don't eat those. I can't believe I have to tell you people this. But there's some people who actually, I mean, apparently, this, this must be because it's happened. Right? I mean, if someone has swallowed a battery for some reason, I don't understand why. That's really bizarre. Um, never use, if you have a pacemaker, okay, a pulse regulator, an artificial heart, artificial lungs, or other sustaining electronic medical devices implanted on you or in you you know if you have like a some kind of implanted medical device you may get feedback it may have irritate this may um mess up the way it works now usually they're pretty good about that stuff because you're you're an exposed to a lot of external wave forms and, and radio waves and stuff like that but this might you know give a hiccup to some things so if you have a pacemaker don't put it on the pacemaker don't put it anywhere around it. You can probably put it on your foot. But, you know, as a general rule, if you have a pacemaker, if you have uh, internal electronic equipment, probably don't use it. Now, if you have um, internal bolts or uh, plates or something like that, you may feel it different. It's going to travel along those and use it as a conductor. This doesn't go very deep, but it can go pretty deep and you'll feel it. Okay, so that's one of the two not to use. Number two, never use in a shower, bath, pool, or high humidity. Um... I don't think it would work in the pool. If you put it in the water, I, I think it would just stop working. So don't use it in there. You don't need to use it in the shower. Uh, you get it wet and it'll corrode, and then you won't have a very good working tool. So take care of it. Keep it in a dry place. Do not use or near mucous membranes or in any orifice of the body. So what is a mucous membrane? Mucous membranes are the areas of entry and exit to the body. So there are all the sensory openings. There are the digestive openings and reproductive openings. So that means in your nose, in your eye, in your ear, in your mouth, in your butt, in your, if you're female, in your vagina, if you're male, inside your penis, anything like that, don't do that. It's going to hurt. It's going to really hurt. Uh, you can try it, I mean, but it's going to hurt. Um, so don't. And you don't want to lose the end of one of these things, right? I can't believe this. Keep away from children and pets. Do not use on anyone who is unable to speak or unconscious. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Sneak up on somebody and zap them with it, I guess. Um, consult a physician before if you are pregnant or have a serious heart condition or other life-threatening disease or injury. If you have a life-threatening disease or injury, you're probably not going to be using this anyway. Um, chronic disease processes. Um, you know, you can consult your your doctor, but they'll probably say don't use it, you know, because they're trying to be extra safe. But, you know, if you have something like fibromyalgia, this is a perfect machine for that. If you have some kind of gout or, or anything, this is a perfect machine. It's not going to, this doesn't heal stuff, by the way. Okay. This doesn't cure anything. What it does is it helps your body focus its energy. It's an acupuncture pen. Focus its energy on the area of complaint, the area that you're using it on. Now, those areas could be pretty um, far away from the area of complaint, you could be doing like for a headache, you could be doing this point here. Now there's other reasons you can get a headache. This is not the reason. But we're using this point because it's a traditional point in acupuncture theory. Okay, so if it's not getting better, and you're using this, and you've used it a couple times, it's not getting better, go see your doc. You know, go see somebody and see what they say. And there may be something other something even easier that you can do uh, to help yourself. Do not attempt to open unit and repair. This will avoid a warranty. There's no warranty on this thing. Um, if not in use for long periods of time, remove the body. That's a really good one. Uh, okay, other places to do. So you can use it on your face. Okay, around here. Oh man, that hurts. So they, they, there's a picture actually of a lady and she's doing this down the front. 
and it hurts like a mofo when you get into this area because there's a lot of nerve endings. Places where you have a lot of nerve endings, you're going to have a lot more um, uh, results from this thing. And, and sometimes results, I don't mean good. The, the, the palms of your hands sometimes are pinchy. Um, some in, in like neck and stuff, we have to watch out for this area right here. This is the carotid sinus. And we don't want to even press on those too much because that can cause you to pass out. So we stay away from here. Okay. Um, you can put it on your chest, you can put it on your belly, you can put it on your groin if you want to. You'll get some twitching anywhere that there's thinner skin. That's going to be up through here. Armpits, front of body, in the groin area, inguinal area it's called, in the inner thigh. That's thinner skin, there's a little bit more nerve uh, distribution there, so you might not want to put it there because it can pinch. Now there's some good points to do in those, and there's even some good points to do uh, all the way into the, the pubic area. Um, but you know, you're, you're, th those are from acupuncture. We don't use them very often. Uh, I don't highlight those because you know we're using distal ones. This is more of a five element theory kind of thing, and we're using the hands and the head and stuff like that. If you're feeling pain, you sometimes can get. If you're working here on the side of the head, is really nice because you can feel it down in or up on top or even in the neck. That's pretty cool. You will feel it in the hand that's treating and where it's. It's treating at, so you, the, the holding hand, we'll, we'll call this the, the holding hand, whatever. Holding hand, action hand, whatever. So where it's going to be pointed, where it's going to be held, whether it's here or, or here or something like that, you may feel it in both. Okay, it's going to be a pinchy feel. It's supposed to pinch because it's an acupuncture stimulation. It's an acupuncture point stimulator is what it technically is. This doesn't do any poke. There's no puncture with this. There's nothing to poke. You know, you can do this all day long. No, no, no holes. Okay, there's a little hole, it's in here, and supposedly that's for a laser, but I've never seen anything that even looks similar to a laser with this thing. They say it's a laser acupuncture, it's not. There's no laser. This is, this is purely electric. One AA battery, I think it is, AA battery in here, um, which is, you know, very small voltage, and we're getting it to pulse through. Now we have to have a conductor and we have to have a completion of the circuit. If I turn this up as high as I want, not going to do anything to me until I touch it somewhere else on me. Now, if I touch you with it and I put it on you, you're not going to feel anything. Okay, I'm going to put this right, bop, where we go? right there, bop. I put it right there and right on your, right there, right there, on top of your forehead. Put it on your forehead, put, it, put your forehead right on your forehead. Not going to feel anything unless I touch somewhere else. And then you go, oh, zap, then you'll feel it, okay? So it has to have a completion of a circuit. Okay, can this be used for muscle spasms? Absolutely, positively. It, that's what it's for. Okay, it works really well with those. It's good for trigger points or motor points or uh, ashi points, as they're called. It's also good for the acupuncture meridian points. It's okay for healing of swelling. It's a good actually uh, to go around the swollen area, especially if it's from a trauma. Now remember, see how those do. Get them checked out. Use your common sense. Use the rest, ice, compression, and elevation if you've sprained a wrist or an elbow or a knee or an ankle. And get it checked out. Um, sometimes these, you know, you don't want to be treating a, a fractured something. You can break a bone in your hand, not really know. Uh, you may feel a little differently, but you didn't do it before. You don't know. Get it checked out beforehand, and then that way you can keep yourself from getting in other troubles. Okay? So um, where not to use it? There we go, guys. So <laughs> don't swallow the battery. Don't stick this up your hoo ha, or your wazoo, or your hee hee, whatever you call it, man. Don't, just don't stick this in you. That's not where it belongs. Um, experiment with it for sure, but know that in the tender spots, in those mucous membranes, you don't use it in your mouth. You get this anywhere near a tooth, well, that's going to really hurt, okay? Um, don't use it on your tongue. Don't use it in your mouth, not in your nose, not in your eyes, not in your ears, not in your butt, all that stuff. Don't use it there. We'll talk about using it in different ways for some issues that occur with those. Um, but those points are usually further away. We can do like um, ED, uh, hemorrhoid issues, um, maybe some other reproductive issues. Those points are further away. We can discuss those later. I'll do some videos on those. Anyway, this is Dr. Sean over the Natural Body Works. Don't forget to subscribe because you'll see more interesting, wacky, and weird stuff like this and stories about people who swallow batteries and do stupid things like that. Um, uh, subscribe. Give me a comment. Uh, if you felt this anywhere, you have a question on this thing too, let me know. If you want one for yourself, 
uh, go down to the description and you can find my description with a link for an Amazon one that you can get. It takes time to get it from them. However, if you want one from me, you can send me 25 bucks and I'll send you a brand new one. Um, shipping and handling included, I'll throw it in the mail the day I get paid. Okay, and it'll be with you within three or four days. I'll use US mail to get it to you, and that's, that's easier, no problems. Okay, take care. We'll see you later uh, <laughs> on the What Not to Put in Your Hoo Ha show. Uh, anyway, this is Dr. Sean. You guys take care. Bye.